Hello and welcome to this tutorial from libreprogramming.org. As promised, uh, uh, I am showing you one of the inline functions uh, which uh, was the partial subject of discussion in my previous video in which we had discussed a function like behavior of macros. Now suppose you have this max function which is inline, then what will happen if you run this? Now this max will not act like a function, the code will be replaced here and your type safety is also preserved. In the macros there is no type safety. So <coughs> that is it will simply do token pasting, macros will do token pasting and after that compilation will happen and then you will have your problems of compilation and things like that. For example you can pass a string instead of uh, an integer, uh, macros will works like that okay it, it will come in compilation it will be caught but yes it gives headache now here max we are discussing so this will be replaced here and we'll get output as six so let's run this and see how it looks like okay i had already done this okay so six so it gave us the output six now let's flip this let's make this ten So it gave 10 so it works fine now the question is where should we keep inline int max the function inline int max is more like a macro therefore it is best kept in a header file y hash f and f and uh, oh, dogs again so we need to provide the header guard Someday I'm going to kill all of them. <laughs> okay, so we created our header in line dot h. Now all func all uh, uh, programs can use it, and we can include this uh, using our include uh, preprocessing directive. Macros are better known as, or uh, rather, uh, less popularly known as preprocessing directives. So it was in line dot h. Now all the functions can use this. This is the best way to write macro uh, inline functions, and I would recommend that whenever you need uh, fast functions, that is, you do not want to have a stack frame, extra stack frame, and uh, leaving uh, uh, and entering the function, then you should use inline functions. Very good. Inline functions have been a very good addition to the C99 specification and uh, this is the recommended way of programming. For example, if you read Scott Mayers, the, in his book Affective C++, he talks about inline functions and how it can be used to replace uh, macros. Now this was one of the reasons why macros uh, were, uh, were uh, uh, not to treat it well in C++ and then C guys uh, that is the CISO specification committee took the leaf out of uh, the book of C++ and they brought inline keyword to C also. So such is uh, the level of macros <laughs> if I may say so. So keep watching uh, and uh, I'll bring more videos uh, so what should we cover? Possibly we can now cover some uh, library functions again because I think we have covered almost everything. You will say, okay, arrays of structures is not covered. Fun okay, function pointers. Yes, I remember. We have to discuss function pointers and uh, that too at a good length. And then uh, more of uh, library functions. Thanks for watching the video. Enjoy. Happy